Hey guys, I'm Boo, we're in New Jersey, and today I wanna to talk about the fact that we can't see anything that lasts longer than 25, 30 seconds without being bored. Um, short attention spans, that's what we're all about these days. And I have been falling down the rabbit hole of uh, YouTube Shorts. I never got into TikTok because I never wanted to get into TikTok. Instagram I was in for a hot minute and then I left. Uh, Facebook I don't really do anymore. The only reason I have a Facebook is so I can keep in contact with, you know, certain friends um, and, you know, family members. Um, other than that, I don't really have much in the way of any need for that stuff. Uh, so when I fell into the rabbit hole of YouTube Shorts, I was like, oh, cool, I can watch a short video that if I'm interested, I could see a full-length video and watch the full-length video. But then I got to the point where I started flipping through and we all have been doom scrolling on our phones at one point or another. And the problem with that is that we get to this point where we just, you know, I, I notice it where I'm watching a YouTube video and I'll try to scroll through because I'm so used to just pushing the down button on the YouTube shorts. Now, a couple weeks ago, I had reached out to YouTube and asked them if they could put a volume button on the YouTube shorts because I would have a window that was open that I was listening to music in the background. So I would kind of turn it down and then I'd watch YouTube shorts on the other side. And I needed the volume difference sometimes. And uh, you know, they actually came through a couple days later and put that in there. So I was extremely happy for that. But now with the doom scrolling, I'm just to the point where, like I said, I'm, I'm watching full length videos and hitting the down button to skip to the next video because my attention span has disappeared. Um, and I feel like some people are, you know, kind of going through this too. Um, I'm hoping at least that I'm not the only one, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge myself to over the next week, not doom scroll, not use YouTube shorts at all. Just completely stay away from it. And yeah, I mean, you know, I get a lot of good recommendations here in my regular channels that I watch, um, on my home screen, but then I get these and is it just me? Or does everything feel like clickbait? Like war, lawyer wins in 40 seconds. Uh, you know, stuff like police drama stuff. It's a lot of clickbait in the way of gaslighting. And it drives me absolutely batshit crazy. Um, so no, I won't be knowing why Asus is under attack. Uh, it's probably honestly because of the ROG thing that happened last week. Um, and yeah, see, look, great, great content here. But then we get back to this Christopher Lee. Okay. Who doesn't love Christopher Lee? Why wouldn't I click on that? I don't know because it's a short video that gives me no attention to details, just whatever they can spew out in 60 to 30 to 60 seconds. And I'm kind of not about that. I'm more about the long form content stuff, you know, where people actually talk and do things and show things. And so like usually in long form content, if I watch for about 15 to 20 seconds and it doesn't just hit me, I will put it in double speed and watch it until it does, or I will play it at double speed. And if I'm not getting anything out of it, well then I'm on to the next one. I'm going to see if I can go this entire week without watching any YouTube shorts or any short form videos. And then I will come back in a week and tell you what's, ha what's happened, what the differences is, what I've actually gotten out of this. So let's go to that. Well, guys, it has been, uh, today is the Thursday after uh, the 22nd. And it's been a week since I've watched any short form videos. And what I've noticed is I've actually started looking more into some content that was actually relevant more um, quality I would say of content than anything so that's kind of where we're going here we're going to you know content that's not relevant it's short form content not probably I'd say about 20% of what I flip through on a daily basis in short form content has anything to do with anything that's relevant to me and I think that's a very alarming statistic when I think about it because of all the media I'm consuming 
if only a small bit of it is content that I can use, that I can remember, that I can learn from, uh, then that's a big problem. And if I choose to go long form content, I find more meaningful videos. I find more, uh, you know, more videos that I can learn from, that I can actually learn something and retain from, uh, rather than just a quick like, hey, here's a, here's a way to uh, put your garbage in your garbage can in a different way. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, why reinvent the wheel? Anyways. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm, I'm enjoying the long form content, but I think I'm ready to get back to a little bit of maybe a little bit of that short form content. Um, you know, trying to identify it, uh, before I start doom scrolling through it. Uh, the big thing is identifying what has meaning to me and what doesn't. And then when I'm done with that content, moving on to something else that does have meaning, you may be a long form, uh, instead of just scrolling to the next video. So yeah, maybe this is, uh, something that's worth looking into for you. And, uh, I hope this video has been of some help, uh, or some, you know, knowledge to you. Um, and, you know, maybe you'll be able to take this into your life as well and, you know, reduce the amount of short form content because it really does screw up your, um, attention span and train of thought. So anyways, that's about all I got for this one. So thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope you learned something in this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.